Dank. Hi, Asibians. How are you all? Good afternoon. Welcome to Asib Pavilion. Our season is over, right? Unfortunate into the season, but I feel uh, we have played well. We reached the qualifier too. Unfortunately, again, we have to wait for one more year, fifteen uh, years now. So, uh, Asib fans, we are used to it. But at least we are consistent now, right? We are reaching to the playoffs, uh, uh, third season in a row. So that's something to look forward to. Just that if we get some good all-rounders and good spinners in the squad next season for next season, I think we can play even more better. But I feel we could have played a much better on that day. But uh, again, uh, a complete off day, right? We used to, we are now uh, used to having a couple of uh, really bad games in a season, and that cost us. And unfortunately, unfortunately, it came out. At the wrong time, at the knockout matches, right? So can't do anything. Cricket, it's part and parcel of the game. Someone has to lose, someone has to win. So we just carry on with that. So and I, in my opinion, I feel we overachieved with the squad what we had. I feel youngsters chipped in, and uh, that made that made a huge bonus, right? Because the likes of Kohli and Maxwell didn't have a great season. So uh, all in all, it's it was a decent, not a bad season. Anyways, uh, we qualified with a uh, with a huge luck like, where Mumbai helped us. So anyways, no complaints. Uh, let's look forward to next season and let's see what uh, what they do, who who all they release and who all they retain. So let's see. Uh, let's wish uh, Rajasthan Royals and Gujarat Titans uh, all the best for the finals. I'm wearing pink. Uh, I'm going with uh, Rajasthan Royals. They are my second favorite team. So uh, let's cheer for Rajasthan. So, so this video I will be talking about top five players uh, of RCB for this season. So the top five contributors, uh, top five players who helped us uh, reach uh, till the qualifier two and who put in crucial and very impactful performances. So to start off with uh, number five. Uh, not sure how many of you guys will keep him at number five, but for me, it is uh, our captain Fab Duplessis, uh, 468 runs, highest score of 96. Captain on our side, he did pretty well. Uh, but the the point I am keeping him at number five is uh, the huge scores only came in two matches, right? Rest of all, he was pretty inconsistent, and his strike rate also was a bit low, a uh, bit strange in this season, right? He he. Struggled in the power play against left arm spinner. He got out seven times against the left arm spacers. So that's the reason he's at five because he has scored four sixty eight runs. But he should have been a lot more higher in the rank. But I keep him at five because it's a batsman's game. Uh, you have to have that lot more impact than the bowlers to get into the top five, top two, top three, right? Because it's a batsman's game. Everyone knows that, and bowlers. Uh, performing uh, and bowlers delivering are really crucial for a team to win the tournament. So that's the reason Faf is at five. He captained really well, but I feel in the eliminate uh, in the qualifier too. Also, his captaincy was not up to that mark, but he did really well first season uh, reaching a qualifier too. So that's not an easy task in itself, but he could have done much better with his captaincy in couple of matches. I feel otherwise, all in all, a very good start to RCB career. 468 runs, highest score of 96. Uh, so, a uh, pretty well. So a good season for Fab, but for me, he's at number five. So yeah, let's uh, come to number four. So for me, he was a number four. It's Ashok Patel. Had a off season in middle of the season with a huge setback. That's totally understandable. Fifteen uh, matches, nineteen wickets at an economy of seven point six six. He's delivered some key performance, right? He's been bowler for RCB from last season, thirty two wickets. Last season, this season, nineteen wickets. Uh, again, uh, bowled really well in an eliminator. Bowled well in uh, the match we lost, qualified too. So a crucial player for us. I think he he will be a long servant for RCB, and he played really well. But except that couple of matches uh, where he was uh, uh, set back, he faced a huge setback. That's totally understandable, right? His confidence was a bit low. Uh, he just uh, lost his rhythm. So. Uh, that happens, and uh, uh, no one can complain about that. Just that uh, he was not up to the levels of uh, last season. Everyone expected that, right? 
and once you put in a performance like last year your expectations go high you become an india player so the standards are high but he i feel he is to 70 80% he kept his uh, what you can say he kept his uh, stature right he he's a india regular now uh, i think he will go to the world cup squad so he's bowling really well uh, and uh, maybe he didn't get that many wickets this season but his economy is pretty good under 8 for a medium pacer who bowls the death it's it's a very it's a bank right faf always goes to him whenever we are in crunch situation whenever we are facing uh, some huge hitting right so for me he's at number 4 uh, a stellar performance again a back to back two season 15 plus wickets it's not easy a uh, batsman uh, batsman friendly tracks to bowl at the death uh, the with the quality of batsmen nowadays we are facing so he's put in some uh, decent performance this season again uh, best figures of 4 for uh, something and uh, like a uh, bowling at good economy very rate so for me ashul padil is at number 4 so now we are into top 3 so this might uh, surprise few people because this guy is at number 3 so i am going with vanindu vasranga yes vanindu vasranga top wicket taker 26 wickets at an economy of 7.54 first full season at rcb what an impact he has made right but i am keeping him at 3 because the two other players what i think this is totally my opinion guys so i am uh, putting this uh, order in my perspective and what i feel on how they have contributed to rcb and i am thinking on based on the impactful performance what they have made so asranga again he, he has not bowled uh, full quota of overs in couple of matches right because he couldn't contribute but there's no uh, backing away that he is a top bowler and he was a, a stellar performance performer for rcb this season right 26 wickets it's not a joke that two are spinner and he was replacing uh, his fellow uh, fellow mate uh, who will play in the final right uzi chahal he was uh, again still a performance rcb so he replaced them man uh, there's no better way to lead uh, the wicket taking chart right uh, overtaking uh, again the fellow mate uzi chahal he is a 25 uh, one into a stranger 26 wickets but again why is at number 3 is again he has taken uh, wickets in again uh, like bunches right four five matches four five matches he has taken wickets he has gone through a bad patch of two or three matches that that's bound to happen in t20 uh, nothing to take away from him first full season under pressure being a lead spinner so and uh, one more crucial part is they would have obviously taken him as an all rounder right but he no, never contributed with the bat and i feel he's a genuine leg spinner itself he maybe i i understand he bats but i don't think he can be considered as an all rounder but that's the reason i feel rcb picked him because he can hit uh, some balls at the uh, lower down the order but he couldn't contribute with the bat at all so that's one more reason uh, for him being at number 3 and uh, surprisingly he got it for 36s right so uh, as being a spinner it's uh, not at all easy uh, uzi chahal also has got it for 26 27 sixes this season so a uh, batsman will go after you so no matter what but his economy is again great 7.54 so but uh, again i think uh, yeah, he is one for one to retain maybe one more uh, good spinner to support him i think he will have a huge impact uh, than this season uh, getting even more wickets he has the potential to get around 30 wickets especially in india spinning track right so he has a lots of potential maybe he can improve a bit in a t20 batting so that's what i feel for me uh, for example if he has played 16 matches right so if you see impactful impactful games i think it will be come up to 4 to 5 matches so that many impactful performance he has put in so one is that fifer and uh, in the eliminator he took deeper kudas wicket so these are the crucial moments in his uh, journey uh, this 2002 ipl season journey right so uh, excellent season uh, for sure but uh, for me other two are uh, my key picks for top 2 and i feel uh, they made a huge impact to rcb reaching uh, reaching qualifier 2 so that's the reason he's at 3 uh, obviously he can be top 1 he can be top 2 anywhere in the top 3 but uh, it's totally my opinion my suggestion and my views how to uh, i mean i just uh, went with impactful one uh, impactful performances and what i thought So for me, Hasan guys are number. Yes, we are into the top two. And any guesses who will be the second top two batsman? Uh, it is none other than uh, Dinesh Karthik. What a season! 
back in the Indian squad after so long. 330 runs at an average of 55 and a huge strikeout of 183. Again, he just faded away a little bit in the end, but uh, what a start to the season he had. I think almost contributed in every RCB win, right? So, for me, he's at number two, uh, brilliant uh, finisher. He's turned out to be a great uh, finisher for Indian batsman, Indian cricket, right? So, hitting sixes uh, at will. Again, I'm disappointed that he couldn't contribute in qualifier two. Maybe if he would have contributed, he would have been the number one player, right? So, again, uh, small margins. Again, he's a player who could have been floating from one to three easily. Uh, Wicket keeping looked little off. Uh, dropped Josh Butler's catch in the eliminate, uh, sorry, qualifier two. But it happens. Cricket, uh, you can't uh, complain on that. It happens. Uh, no one does it purposefully. But again, what a silly season he had. Uh, playing a finisher's role. Uh, no one expected this from DK, especially uh, from the season what he had with KKR, right? I had picked him as a surprise player for RCB and boy oh boy, he delivered. And uh, what key contributions he made to our team. And I think, again, he's going to stay there for next season as a wicketkeeper batsman and a, a same as finisher's role, right? So, for me, uh, yeah, you guys can easily put him at first, second. Uh, he was a player of the season in the middle of the season. But again, uh, as the matches goes on, the matches become more crucial, right? So, the impact and the performance should go a notch higher. So, that's the reason he's at number two, a number one player. Uh, he just put in a consistent performances. So, that's the reason uh, he didn't uh, DK and the one in Duas Rangam is doubt. So, for me, DK at number yes. two. The final one, number one player for RCB this season. And it might be a huge surprise. It is Josh Hazelwood, guys. Yes, what a baller. What a signing. When, when we signed, I was really excited because this guy is a top baller. And I know he will deliver at crunch moment. Just one bad off game that no one can take away. Everyone has bad game. Even Rashid Khan, even Rashid Malinga has had bad games in 20 cricket, right? You, can, you can't be consistent day in and day out with this level of quality of batsman. And you can, obviously, you can go for one bad day. So, that's not at all a scene. And he has played just 12 game guys and he has picked up 20 wickets and at an economy of 8.11. That's not really huge, right? He bowls in the power play. He bowls in the middle overs. He bowls in the death overs. Guys, he's been fantastic. I think he's been uh, one bowler missing for ages, right? After Mitchell Stark, I don't think we have we have had one fast bowler uh, with the caliber of Josh Hazelwood. We have to keep him no matter what, at least for uh, three, four, five seasons, right? He has that potential to become even more better if he delivers that Yorker ball. I think he will be a complete T20 bowler. What a signing he is and... That's one uh, praise I will give to RCB management that we picked him because he's a gold, he's a banker. I know uh, he's bit predictable, but with his height, it's not easy to hit him. I know one bad off, bad game everyone has. So that's not a point at all. So, so he's put in a crucial performance, I think, every game, just except, except that one game because he has taken Quinton Decock. That's a huge wicket in the league matches, right, with LSG. That's the reason we won that game. And again, say again the same opponent in the eliminator, he picked up KL Rahul. So, those are the crucial... That's what I see in a baller, right? Whether he can contribute in crunch moments. He has delivered in the power play, he has delivered in the middle overs with middle economy as well. And that to him, is starting on the tournament. Who knows, he would have been the leading wicket taker because he has uh, missed around four matches, right? Hasanga played 16, he has played only 12. So, for me, definitely player of the season, pick of the season... A buy of the season, whatever you call it, for RCB because he is delivered at his best. So I feel we have to keep him. Uh, no point in releasing him. Someone else will pick him again. We'll regret. Like uh, we let go of Uzi Chahal. So he is a gold. He is a banker. Anytime he can bowl, only upwards for him. So for me, RCB's player of the season is Josh Hazelwood. And I don't know how many of you will be surprised, but I think in many of you guys' list, Josh Hazelwood will be there. So, put in your comments, guys, who is your top 5, who is your top 1. So, these are mine. So, I hope you like this video. Keep keep watching, keep showing the love, keep supporting. I know it's a disappointing end to the tournament, but it's okay. We are RCBNs, we are loyal, and we keep supporting. Let's support our team for next season too, and let's wait and watch what's going to happen in the finals. Take care, guys.